Good afternoon, Scorpio. This is going to be your reading. I hope everybody is doing all right. I hope everybody is healthy. I really kind of went back and forth today with doing this video just because, you know, I, I pretty much the energy has to be right for me to do a reading. But I am a Scorpio also, so I feel like I need this as well. I am still um, doing personal readings for $20 right now. I want to make them affordable for people since I know a lot of people are out of work. A lot of people are um, struggling right now with things, um, with different shutdowns and things that are going on. Um, so if you would like to have a personal reading, um, I'll include my email address in the description of the video. I take um, Cash App, uh, PayPal, Venmo, and Facebook Messenger for those of you that are friends with me on Facebook. I will either send you your own video or we can video chat. I have Skype, I have Facebook Messenger. And we've got an extra card here. I'm trying to make some room. I've been working on my personal space. I got this screen up. I'm like real excited about it. I get situated here. I'm always kind of torn between um, pulling the cards out on video just because I know it takes so much more time. And I try to keep my videos, you know, under 22 minutes, 23 minutes. But I know people like to see the cards drawn on the camera, so for that reason I do it. Give me a card for Scorpio, for my Scorpion friends and myself included. I pulled some other decks out because I'm trying to kind of um, cycle them in and out because I do have a lot of decks. In fact, I'm going to be ordering more soon. for to clarify the three of staves come on give me a card for my Scorpio friends myself included I always feel like I'm reading for myself when I do the Scorpio readings like I said I needed it today so I said well Not one cups card, not one, not even one. So really I'm sensing that before I even get started, everybody's pretty much been working on themselves, not focused on anything outside of themselves right now. Lots of action. Lots of contemplation, lots of growth. Card for Scorpio. Give me 
one more. Okay, the first card that we have is the sun. And it's actually clarified by getting some exercise. Now, the sun is the most um, positive card in the deck. But basically, um, what I'm getting with this card is the actual sun. Um, I know a lot of people are quarantined, they're locked down, they're in the house right now. I've seen so many people in judgment of people who are like, who get out and ride their bike and take a walk or, you know, I've been going down by the river um, and, you know, I'm out in nature and there's nobody else even with me. So, I mean, it's social distancing at its finest. And we want to get exercise. We want to get, you know, vitamin D. We want to get fresh air. You know, because these things improve um, our health. So don't let anybody tell you that you need to be barricaded in your house and that you can't sit outside on your deck or spend time outdoors because get some exercise. As your body becomes stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. So definitely get out and get some exercise, get some sun, get some fresh air. Spiritual teacher, your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. Don't be scared to tell your story and share your story with others. Um, this involves living authentically. A lot of times people feel like other people are going to judge them. You know, I'm not scared to tell people, you know, my experiences and things that I've been through, even if they're shocking. Because you know what? That is how you live authentically. Don't feel like you have to put on airs for other people. Um, because when you are your authentic self, guess what? It inspires other people to be their authentic selves as well. And in this way, you are a spiritual teacher of sorts because you're able to share your experiences. And this makes you more empathic. This makes you able to really feel what other people are going through and really give them some good guidance. And if this hasn't happened, I feel like you're going to be placed in a position where you're going to be able to give somebody um, some advice, some direction. Princess of Staves. And like I said, I had picked up automatically from the energy of this spread is that you're not so much focused on love and romance as actually understanding and knowing that we are all connected. Everything is connected. We're all one consciousness. I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. This is a collective conscious, consciousness. Everyone is connected. There is no separation. We're not separated from nature. We're not separated from the sun. We're not separated from the moon. We are all particles of the universe. We're all connected to this same consciousness. And when you do that and you look at the big picture, the things that in, in humanity is waking up like never before. Everything that's happening right now is happening so that humanity can wake up and everyone is experiencing their very own version of reality. Right now, everyone's facing their very own fears. Some of us are terrified of losing our civil liberties. Some of us are actually more scared of that than we are a virus. But everyone, is, some people are terrified of poverty. They're more scared of poverty than they are of getting sick. And some people are terrified of getting sick and dying. But everyone is facing their fears right now. And everyone is waking up like never before. And so it really has put things in a perspective. Things that we used to worry about, now we're not worried about that anymore. 
three of staves. If you can look at each and everything that's happening in your life as a lesson, things are so much easier. If you can look at every person that you run into, even if it's somebody that like, let's say, you know, your cashier has tried your patience, the cashier who's checking you out. Let's say someone was rude to you at the store. And ordinarily, this would have gotten you kind of out of your element. You know, you might have snapped off, popped off, back to them or whatever. But more than ever before, we're understanding that everyone is kind of stressed right now and everyone is going through things. So it makes us more patient with other people. But not just that, but if you can look at that particular experience and be like, okay, this is teaching me patience. This is teaching me this. This is teaching me that. And if you can apply everything, um, because I feel like that has to do with the spiritual teacher too. Um, what Everything is our spiritual teacher. Everything is teaching us. Um, because to clarify this card, we have a scrying mirror shadow. Shadow work is when you face your subconscious, things that um, you didn't know were there. And so sometimes this mirror gets held up to us by others so that we can see things that we need to work on and understand the journey is the destination. So don't always look at, okay, you have an arrival point. I want to arrive here. I want this. I want that. Because sometimes our ego has to be denied in order to learn a lesson. You know, think about all the things that you wanted or you thought you wanted. If you would have gotten them when you wanted to get them or in the way that you wanted to get them, would you have learned or grow, grew as much as you did? Queen of staves. I told you it's like all staves and staves is wands energy. And wands is all about spirituality. Um, so I really feel like the energy of this reading is really self-growth and really self-examination and um, that introspection. I'm, I'm really picking up on that energy in this reading. Um, Queen of Staves. This is that energy that you're in, this Queen of Wands energy, this letting your light shine and everything that you've been through, um, how strong it's made you. Think about how strong you are from everything that you've been through so far. Um, I do feel like there's been some drama, you know, over like the past two weeks. You've had some drama in your life. Um, but the spiritual guidance that's coming through is do not feed into that drama. Learn to walk away. You don't always have to be right. And I know this is really hard for Scorpio. <laughs> um, because, you know, we love to win arguments. We love to get the last word in. But you know what? Do you really have to? Think about all of the energy that you're spending doing that. Now, save your energy for more important things like manifesting money into your life, good health. And how do you manifest more money and good health into your life? You believe it. You know it and you believe it and you do not waver from it. And that is this energy I'm picking up on. Salvador Dali. Never make an appearance, and understand these are artist cards, like each person on here um, is an artist. Um, and so uh, the meaning of the card is real abstract, but I, I like it because I can really read it intuitively. It says, never make an appearance without controversy. Tap the unconscious and pray it isn't boring. Being Dolly is inspiration enough. This has to do with that speaking your truth. Even if it seems controversial to some people, you know, everyone isn't going to be in alignment with you. So I feel like this is some of that drama that you've been experiencing, um, that you have been at odds with somebody else. Um, 
and understand nobody really is right or wrong because we all have our level of consciousness. And if you can understand that, um, that everybody hasn't been through the same thing that you have. So everybody's perspective is different. And so if you can respect other people's differences and other people's views, that will ha have help you to have more peace in your life. That will also help with this um, drama and this controversy that you have in your life right now. Contemplation. Try to spend some time alone. Now understand, like I said, I know a lot of people are locked down. A lot of people are in quarantine, but you know, you're, it's also, there's also a lot of people stuck with people 24 seven. And this can be very trying. Um, and so, like I said, if you need to get out and take a walk or if there's another part of that, your home that you can go to, I'm going to take a bath a long, I, what I do is go take a long bath. You know, I'll come in the living room, listen to some music just so I can, um, have some space. But definitely contemplate. Um, and when we contemplate or meditate, we actually connect to our very own inner guidance. And then we're more in tune with what we really truly want instead of what we think we want, which is fear-based. Francisco Goya, and understand two of these artist cards come out, came out, so I'm gonna take them. In case of emergency, locate your nearest exile. A good character is no exaggeration. Truth takes place in the shadow. So once again, we have another shadow card. We have two shadow cards. And the shadow is all about the subconscious. There's stuff there that still needs to come out into the light. Um, and this involves why you do things. Have you ever had some real shitty habits or um, real shitty ways of dealing with people? And you know it's shitty, but you can't stop it and you can't help it. And you're like, oh my God, I just really... I'm so sick of this. I'm tired of my thing is passive aggressiveness. Like I will get passive aggressive in a minute. And I've been really, really working on that the past two weeks. And instead of being able to communicate with someone and be like, Hey, this bothers me. That bothers me. You know, like a mature adult, I'll throw a fit about it. Or I'll be like real passive aggressive, but this is something that I've been working on. This is in my shadow. So it's that type of energy that there's something that, you do and it's a pattern something that you've learned um, um a coping mechanism that no longer serves you that you really need to dig deep and you really need to discover that you do it first of all that's how you bring it out of the shadow into the light and you don't really have to change it you just have to notice it and then you have to accept it because acceptance is the key to change. I mean, you'd be like, you know what? I love this about my, you know what? Yes, I do this thing, but I accept it about myself and I love myself in spite of it. You know, um, it's almost like taking your inner child and putting your inner child in your lap and holding it and being like, it's all right. I understand, you know, but I accept you and I love you anyway. Like, a parent would unconditionally love a child. Four of Swords. And this is that whole energy of just being betrayed. Um, someone, you know, that you perceive to be disloyal to you. Um, being left for dead. Feeling like people have abandoned you. And understand, our ego has to be denied. Sometimes we cannot get our way at least not now, because if we would get our way right now, we would not learn what needs to be learned from the situation, whether it be patience, whether it be acceptance. Learn the lesson from whatever this situation is showing you, and it'll stop showing up. Because to clarify that card, we have Toad. And this is my literary witch's oracle deck. Let me look up Toad. I had this the other day. I should remember it. Yep, 
humor, they're grotesque, and joy. So I know um, I tend to be real sarcastic and I use humor a lot, especially when I'm hurt. I don't know how many times humor has helped me in a painful situation. Understand this toad, this humor, this grotesque, this joy card is clarifying this left for dead card, this four of swords. So I'm sensing for some of you, humor is a way to kind of soothe your wounds. Um, Someone might actually be a comedian. Um, but the message that's coming through is make sure humor is fine, but make sure that you're still dealing with what comes up. And that you're not just covering it up and masking it because the whole purpose of this shadow work is to bring it into the light so make sure that you are not masking your pain with you know even even with substances um anything that could become a codependency anything that will keep you from facing yourself and your truth make sure that you are conscious of that movement Make sure you are not stuck in the past. Release the past. There's nothing you can do about it. Because it will keep you stuck and it will keep you going back in this cycle over and over and over again. Because you'll keep replaying it. And then even if that situation doesn't resurface, another one just like it will. So make sure you release the past. We have the courthouse. But the energy that I'm getting from this card is contracts. And understand, we can have soul contracts with people. And the way that I understand a soul contract is each and every one of us is simulating our very own version of reality. You're experiencing your very own version of your universe, your world. And everybody in your world is soul family. Because if they were not in your physical reality, they would not be soul family. Um, and so... Before we even incarnate here, us and our soul families will decide what type of experiences we want to have. You know, when someone might be like, okay, you know, well, the last lifetime or timeline that we were together on, you know, we were husband and wife. But how about the next one? I'd be your mother and you'd be my child. Um, and maybe you experience some sort of neglect or abuse even that's a soul contract that has you know that you decide on something that's going to play out it's almost like the big screen like a play on the stage um, and so what i'm getting with this is a lot of these soul contracts are coming to an end so make sure that you get out of the past make sure you forgive people because they are your soul family um, make sure that you are learning any type of lessons that have came up so that they stop repeating. Um, comedy is great, you know. Any type of coping mechanism that you have, but make sure it does not take away from you facing your shit. This was a beautiful reading, Scorpio. Um, if anyone would like to have a personal reading, do reach out to me. Um, like I said, they are $20 right now. I can either send you a video or we can interact via um, video chat, either one. So thank you for watching.